Welcome back to Cadmus, your go-to channel for all things related to computer-aided design, animation, and rendering. In today's tutorial, we'll be exploring how to create a beautiful and intricate cat flower using your favorite design software. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow designers. I appreciate your support. Now let's dive into the wall of cat flowers and unleash your creativity. So I got this drawing here. Um, let's go over the measurements. There's a dimension of 196 diameter of that outer ring where the paddles finish. Then that inner part is 36 millimeters. There is a chamfer at the bottom, 10 milliliters times 45 degrees. A height of our flower of 32, that is the paddle and the, the blossom, we call it. That one has a radius of 66. The paddle has a 98 radius at the top and 112 at the bottom. And the thickness on the outside is four millimeters. I'll post a link to this um, drawing on my website in the comment section. All right, so this is um, flower number one. And I'll start a new empty part studio with flower number two. I'll go on the front plane with a sketch, press N, press P, press L, and um, draw a line here, go over here, go over here, something like that. Connect those two points with an three-point arc here and start applying dimensions so the total height is 32 that height here is 10 dimension is 135 that Radius is 66, and that um, center point has to be vertically under the origin. And then we got the that radius 36 from here to here, 36, fully defined our sketch. Let's continue with that next three-point arc from that vertex over here. Drop that somewhere here. Maybe draw a line here. Make that construction geometry. Make that tangent to that line. Give that um, that 98 radius we can apply the um, radius that is 196 divided by 2 and apply a vertical relationship here all right now that next three-point arc starts here goes over there I'll drop it there connect those two with a line make that line vertical dimension that with four and dimension that bottom radius with 112 now go into the revolve take that region around that axis 
part one, let's rename that flower and give that um, um, green. Well, let's wait. I'll, I'll keep it light, so light color, so you can see better what's going on. Now, let's revolve that one more time, that region. I'll just, I can pick that um, line as the axis, as a new body. And now I'll start a sketch on the top plane, press N for that, and um, with U I project that circle and that one, and well, that line here, and take the three-point arc, connect that here, connect that to that point, drop that there, draw one line from the origin to that point, Dimension that um, to that line. So we got five paddles. We got a 360 degree circle. So each paddle covers um, 72 degrees. So that's got to be 36 here. And that needs to be tangent here, we can make that one um, construction geometry and mirror um, our outside to that side. All right, go into the extrude, take those two regions, go to intersect, Turn that around, go through wall, merge scope, that one, accept that, go into circular pattern of parts, again that same axis five times, then just um, combine everything Hide that sketch. Now, okay, let's call that flower. Give that that green appearance. Then go to that face and add appearance to face white. And collect those five petals top surface and apply a orange appearance and there it is i hope you like this video and i see you in the next one